ஹலோ கைஸ் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு பைத்தன் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் பை அமுல்ஸ் அகாடமி இன் பைத்தன் லிஸ்ட் அண்ட் டிக்ஷனரிஸ் ஆர் தி டூ ஃபண்டமெண்டல் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் டுட்டோரியல் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் தி டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் லிஸ்ட் அண்ட் டிக்ஷனரி வி ஆல்ரெடி நோ லிஸ்ட் இஸ் அ லீனியர் டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் டிக்ஷனரி இஸ் அண்ட் அசோசியேட்டட் டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ரைட் தட் இஸ் இஃப் ஐ கிரியேட் அ லிஸ்ட் நேம் லிஸ்ட் ஒன் It is square brackets. Next, here. These are my values. Okay, enter. Now, if I want to access any value, then I need to mention the index of that value. That is, if I want to access hello, 0, 1, 2, 2 and 3 its index is 3 so i need to mention 3 here so then only i can access that value now in the dictionaries it's using flower brackets and in the dictionary key and value will be present one is my key and i write one enter now here if i want to access any data then i need to mention the key here if i want to access the value 2 then i need to mention the key 2 and we can see the value in the list if we want to access any data we need to depend on the location or the index of that data in the dictionary will depend on the keys here is an image it will explain about the difference between list and dictionary that is in the list we can see here are the index values and using this index values we can access this value and in the dictionary we can see the key values that is using this key values we can access this date and here we can see it is in the order that is first 71 is present so 71 is present second 72 is present 72 65 and here 65 74 and last is 74 but in the dictionaries it is unordered it is first 71 is present next is 74 is present and next 72 next 65 that's because list follow the linear order that is there will be first element second element third element but in the dictionaries there is no first element second element third element it is unordered there is only one thing is matters that is key okay next we'll take one programming example that is temperature display program we wrote that program using list and dictionary and we can see the difference through that program first we'll see temperature display program using list that is we created one list and list name is this daily temp and we can see the seven values here and here this temperature is for sunday this is for monday this is for tuesday this is for wednesday this is for thursday and this is for friday and this is for saturday right next we used input function and we asked the user to enter the input next we used conditional statement that is if elif first it will check whether the input is sun if it is true then it will execute day name equal to sunday and it will enter the temperature that is daily temp of 0 that is it is the first value present in this list if this condition is false then it will go here and it will execute this statements and if this condition also false then it will go here like that it will continue right and in the else part we can see print statement that is wrong input if the user enter something other than this then it will give the output as wrong input at last we came out of this 
if elif statement and we used print statement that is we printed the temperature for day okay now i'll execute this and it will ask the user to enter the input i'll enter wed enter and the temperature for bedness day is 71.8 degrees that is this is for sunday monday tuesday and this is for wednesday and we can see the temperature for wednesday that is 71.8 next we'll see the same program using dictionaries okay this is the same temperature display program but using dictionaries first here we can see the dictionary and we can see the key values and the values here sun is the key and this is the value and there are seven key and value pairs are there okay next is day name here we used another dictionary where same keys are present but values are different okay this is for the day name okay next we ask the user to enter the input and at last we printed the temperature for the day okay now i'll run this program and here we got the same statement that is asking the user to enter the input i'll enter same that is wet and enter and we can see same output but this program contains only four lines but the program using list contains many lines right and we can say in some cases dictionaries are more convenient than the list or tuples okay this is about the difference between the list and dictionaries okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care